Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Ania Danye and if this is your first time here, welcome. Here on this channel, I like to do makeup, hair, vlogs, lifestyle videos, a little bit of everything. So if that's anything that interests you, please consider subscribing. As you can tell by the title, we're just going to jump right into it. So guys, I am touring two different apartments today in the downtown Baltimore area. Um, it is the Promenade and the Avalon um, and on President Street. They're both on President Street. However, I did do the Avalon tour in Towson, so I have a video that already I'll leave a link above and down below in the description box if you want to check that out. We are looking for a two bedroom today, but I think they don't they said that we don't have any two bedrooms available, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'm not looking to move, I just want to put this content out here for you guys. Um, somebody asked me recently when am I going to do more apartment videos? Me and my boyfriend are moving somewhere else, so um, we'll have a lot of videos on that coming soon, but um, I'm just here doing this stuff for you guys for people who are interested in living in downtown baltimore and who can't make the drive to come see it anyways these are luxury apartments so they might not be suitable for everybody and everybody's price range because i know for me i'm not paying three thousand dollars a month to live in these apartments but i do want to show you guys the options because somebody asked me to do a luxury um baltimore apartment store now if you guys want to see an affordable baltimore apartment and what it looks like on a budget i definitely can do that for you guys just let me know down below in the comment section so we're just going to jump right into it it might be a voiceover. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but let's get right into it. Hey guys, so we are at the Avalon right now in Baltimore. We did see the Avalon in Towson, but this is in Baltimore and it has better views. Um, I'm only on the third floor right now, but he said if you go up from the eighth floor and beyond, you can see views of um, the harbor downtown. So I just want to show y'all the cabinet space. I feel like they have a good amount of cabinet space in here. It's actually just with two people. They don't have any two bedrooms open right now, so we're seeing a one bedroom. But just so we can get the idea of it. And if you haven't seen my other video, my other apartment tour, I will link it above and down below in the description box so you guys can see a two bedroom version of this. Like the faucet. Is that under that? Oh, there's no lighting underneath, <laughs> but that's okay. I think the appliances are stainless steel, which is really nice. And I really like this. Sorry, babe. Can you come over here? Okay, look. I love that they have a cabinet. This is what we need to get, babe. Yeah, for the pantry. Yes. So this is a nice little pantry. Got a little good pan of that. Okay. Guys, the kitchen also comes with a dishwasher. And I think it is a really nice standard size dishwasher. And again, it is stainless steel like the rest of the appliances. I do like like this like island and seating area it has um, four bar stools on both sides, so I think that would be that work really nice like for entertainment and whatnot. That's nice. Oh uh, yep. So in here we have a cloak closet. We can use like as a second pantry almost, or like to store vacuum cleaner, blurm, and everything like that. I really love that table though. And that area. So this is like um, your dining area. And then your living room, which is kind of small for my liking, but um, if it's just yourself and another person, it should be fine. Um, and then we have a balcony out here. It's really small though. So anyway guys, here's the balcony. We can't walk out there, but it's really small. You can probably fit like a chair out there. <laughs> One or two very small chairs out there. So let me give you a big pan of the living room. Now we're walking into the master bedroom. So guys, um, this master bedroom, and you can probably only fit like a full or a queen bed in here. It's really small for my liking, but the ceilings are kind of high for me for somebody who is short. Um, what I do like though is this closet space. It has a his and her closet. Um, his side is obviously very small. Well, it can't be my side. <laughs> Because boys always have less stuff. But you can fit some clothes in there. You can add an additional rack, a hamper. And then on this side, um, it is the bigger closet. It's, let me see. It's a good space, you know?
Now we're coming into the master bathroom and the guest bathroom. So it has two entrances, one from this side and one from this side. Um, and then if you can get a pan of the sink. So here is the sink. And I think it has really nice storage. Good under the sink storage. Great cabinets and drawers on the side. I said cabinets, great drawers on the sides. Um, it does have a medicine cabinet over here. Um, a toilet, of course. And then I like that the toilets are updated with this little thingy. And then you have a bath and tub combination going on over here, which is, is a nice size. Um, and then, babe, you want to show them the laundry room? So, this is the laundry room. We got the tower, washer and dryer. Yes, the combined washer and dryer. And it is updated, even though it looks old, but it is the newer one. And I like that they have a rack for additional storage and you can put something down here for additional storage. Um, it's small, but it works. Well, here is the door where you come in. And then yeah, one last final overview of this place. And then I'll take you guys upstairs to the 24th floor to show you the amenities. Remember, this is a one bedroom apartment at the Avalon in Baltimore. Guys, I don't know if you can see, but it's a dark park they have down there. And I think it is so nice.
Hey guys, so I'm back with my boyfriend and we already viewed the two apartments and we really didn't like the last one, the problem not well, at least I didn't. I don't think for $3,000 that I would want to stay in there. It's not really renovated, it's carpet. Not that I have a problem with carpet, but it was just not giving me the vibes that I was looking for. Um, but if you're interested in it, go check it out. What did you think of the promenade, the last one we just saw? The promenade, the kitchen was pretty small. It didn't have like a pantry space. Like you had to, you had to decide between the closet. Oh, I didn't even think space. of that. Yes, they didn't have a pantry in that one. That one closet in that one room was not a closet they could have added that for an extra bit i don't know what they, they could have done something different with that but yeah <laughs> it was ridiculous it was ridiculous so it didn't have much living room space either you couldn't get a nice couch in there um you had to decide between a big couch or some low seats yeah, you don't have many options, basically. So the Avalon, however, I love the Avalon. Um, I wish we could have seen the two-bedroom. I loved it. It was just the living room was a little bit smaller. Of course, downtown, you're going to be paying an outrageous price for a little bit smaller living. I like that they both have in-unit you know, washer and dryer. That's a must. And they both have dishwasher. I just think the Avalon was just nice overall. Just so much better. So much more modern than the one we saw um, at the Promenade. But the Promenade is also... So it's a part of Mizzou. Um, I'm sorry. Like Mizzou... Um, they had like a whole company or whatever in their other apartment which was like right across the street was called the sinks or something like that um uh, whatever it's called but um those apartments were also nice we didn't get to see inside but like just looking at the um amenities and stuff like that it was really really nice so we're gonna book a tour to go see that soon but yeah um if you're into a luxury apartment downtown Baltimore, I say go for them. Go for the Avalon, though. That's really nice. Um, and you get more bang for your buck. It's like this around the same price for so much better. And the view in the Avalon is so much better because um, the Avalon goes up to 20. It has 24 floors in the Avalon, and then the Promenade only has 18, I think. I'm not sure. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was 18 floors. So do with that information what you must but if you like this video and want to continue to see videos like this please like comment share and subscribe and turn on your bell so you can get notified every single time i post a video and i wanted to say that they were both supposed to be self-guided tour so the second footage in the the footage for the second um apartments may not be the best because the girl she followed us on the tour um but i didn't mind she let me record and everything just we we couldn't do like the talking as much as we wanted to because i would have a lot of stuff to say about that however in the promenade it, the balcony was bigger than the one in the Avalon yeah but the view was ugly though you're right you're right give and take give and take give and take but thanks guys you couldn't guys. Be on the balcony in the Avalon yeah because we couldn't figure out how to open the door <laughs> but thanks guys so much for watching this video I'll see you in my next one bye, bye.